Hello Grinder School, this is Colossus and today I am going to tell you a little bit about what I've been doing uh, lately, obviously poker related, and why I have been doing it. So first a little bit of background, you might remember that in my previous video I showed you some of my stats, uh, the stats were uh, about 10 and L this year. And if you remember correctly, or uh, you can obviously always uh, see the video again, they were showing about uh, there were uh, about 20 VPIP, 50 preflop raise, and a really really low three bet percentage, like two percent. Uh, uh, it was working fine. It, it's probably still working fine. Uh, I also made the notice in that video that if you would have watched the video back of me in the day, like oh. Uh, if I would have shown you my stats from like three years ago at 10 and now, it would probably be around 16, 13, maybe 18, 15 later on. Now they went uh, to 2015. But I have to admit something. When I'm playing my normal stakes and they're a bit higher, uh, my win rate is going down. Uh, when I keep playing my 18, 15 type of style, people are smart enough that they know they can bluff me off uh, certain hands. They're not going to pay me off anymore on the river when I do get it all in. All that kind of stuff made me, uh, made me go down uh, on my win rate at 100 an hour. And so I decided to work on my game, as should you if you plan to move up. First of all, you have to be sure that you're beating the stakes, obviously, that you're playing. Like if you're playing 10 and make sure that you beat them. I know I can beat them. I I've proven to myself multiple, multiple times that I can easily beat 10 and L. So uh, I was thinking about maybe I should start adapting my game a bit. And so... Um, I've been playing now uh, since yeah this month only not, not a lot of hands but I've uh, trying to adapt my game play a little bit more well a little bit more actually a lot more aggressive uh, just pre flop play a lot more hands um, <sighs> some nice coffee uh, so I will show you some of my results right here uh, from this month it's uh, we're in May. 2013. I've only played life. It's not that important. I've only been playing for uh, a little bit over 4,000 hands. I've uh, been doing pretty well, but I have to admit I've not been running really well, uh, on the contrary. But it's been working fine, I can't complain. Um, and my VPIP uh, is 29, 21. Compared to the 2015 that I've been Previously, uh, been playing this month at least a ten and all. Uh, it's real. Uh, it's uh, I'm r really ramping up my VPIP. Uh, my three bet percentage is, has only gone up by one percent. I'm still. I, I think I'm gonna have to include it in my game. But why am I doing it? Uh, why am I all, all doing this at ten and all? Is because I can obviously do this at one hundred and all too. But I don't know if the style is going to work at one hundred and all. So I rather try and learn at stakes where I don't care about losing five buy-ins or, uh, or more um, because the money doesn't mean all that much and it's just a cheap way to learn a new style. Does it mean that the new style is going to work at 100 now? No, not necessarily. But if it's, if it's not working at 25 an hour or 10 an hour, uh, I doubt that it's going to work at 100 an hour. So, uh, I rather learn something new and uh, learn something new cheap than learn something new uh, really expensive. Uh, so let's take a look. Twenty nine, twenty one, three bet percentage. I'm gonna try to ramp this one up. I, I really should be three betting a lot more. I, I believe people fall to my three bets uh, way too often, uh, and probably uh, because they do have stats on me and. Uh, also, I'm folding to 3 bets really a lot. Maybe it's in here. Where is it? My fold to 3 bets. Oh, here. 80%. Mm, it's not that bad. Uh, 80%. Could be a little bit lower, but it's not that bad. So, what I've been doing lately is if I probably I've been calling a lot. Uh, 
especially when I have position. Not only uh, now do I focus on the fish at the tables, but I'm also, no matter who is sitting on my right, I will annoy him. I will float him pre-flop uh, with crappy hands. I will float him on the flop and try to just to annoy him this much that later on in the game, uh, he's gonna make uh, a huge mistake as against me. And it has been working. Uh, it has been working nicely, actually. Um, if I can keep this up, it's a really, it's a huge win rate. Um, let's see. Let's take a quick look at my positional stats because usually you see that in my uh, now. Wait a minute. Uh, on the button, uh, I look at my. There's a huge. Um, how do you say a huge gap between my VPIP and my pre properties and it's just because I've been focusing uh, a lot, uh, just uh, calling on the button when somebody raised a pre flop, just because my positional advantage is so huge. Um, uh, people just play bad, uh, so uh, that's why uh, there's a, such a big gap between my VPIP and pre flop race. Um, besides that, positional stats are not gonna mean the, the hands are just not big enough. But uh, I'm planning to now to play a live session and uh, hopefully show you what I'm uh, what I'm trying to accomplish with learning this new style because the 1815 star just doesn't cut it anymore at 100. Well, I, I'm still winning, but the win rate is too low for me, and I'm still playing poker not to entertain myself, but to um, make some uh, make some money. So, with that being said, I believe we can, uh, I can pause the video and we can uh, put in a few hands and see uh, how it'll do. Okay guys, I am back. I have four tables uh, turn now going on. I've also got some couple of tables off screen in case that I do want to switch out on tables because uh, the first thing we'll do is, as I mentioned before, is oh, we have got a spot coming up here. Uh, it doesn't fall to three bets a lot here on the button. So I'm just gonna call here. I don't wanna also push out. Well, I don't know anything about him, but King Queen is good enough to make the call here. If I three bet, I doubt that I'm ever gonna get called by something worse. Although it doesn't, it only folds 10% uh, with King Queen. Is a decent hand to call with. No, I don't wanna. Uh, you see it on any more tables? I'm gonna lead out. Um, there's a lot of draws who are going to call me because the board, the Jack Queen, hits quite a quite a few people. We merely get the call by uh, Gaben's. Uh, 13. If he had something like Queen Jack, he's probably he's probably gonna raise my bet. So I'm thinking, hey, uh, I got some action going on on some other tables, but uh, I'm gonna close out actually the other tables, uh, and we'll see how uh, these tables are. But anyway, when he merely calls here, uh, gave him 13. I'm here, uh, I'm putting him mainly. Um, uh, a draw or some weaker queen. Uh, if he raises here on the turn, I'm gonna have to fold. Uh, it means that he's uh, uh, the turn is not the best card. I can bet again. Quintana beats me. Uh, nine, ten missed. Um, I'm just gonna check if he bets big. I'm, I'm <laughs> checked it back. I wonder what he has. That's cost twice and. Did I still beat on the nine queen? Yeah, you're the weaker queen. 
I doubt that he calls a river bed too. Anyway. Uh, seven, eight offsuit table number two. Uh, I'm getting a really nice price, so I'm gonna make this call. Uh, I've been playing a lot more hands. It's part of my uh, newish style, I would say. Uh, we hit middle pair. Uh, I can lead out, uh, and I'm probably gonna lead out something like uh, thirty cents, and hopefully get the fold, uh, get some folds. The 8 is a nice card, obviously. Now we have two pair, and I'm not folding any, uh, not even to a raise now at this point. So, letting 90 cents. The guy is half stacked. I think, uh, I think he's pretty bad. He's never folding a king if he has one. Uh, king 8 off suits. And the guy on my, on table number 3. I'm just gonna fold it. And, can I put him in? No. I'm just gonna bet again. Uh, bet that gets called by King Jack, King Queen, uh, something like this, and we'll win. Ace King, I could have even shoved, probably. But this is what I mean by people play. Huh. I mean, well, well, why doesn't he raise on flop? I mean, people just play so bad and let me get there. That I believe that by being more aggressive, uh, I'm gonna get into a lot of situations where I don't have the best hand, but I get to the best hand really cheaply, and people can fold at these things. But on the other hand, I'm also gonna get paid off when I do have something really good. Ace 10, I'm defending here. I could have easily made it 3 bets on table number 4. Here with the ace four offsuit, I'm gonna call in position uh, versus a min race seven four on the uh, on table number three. I am defending. Uh, it's suited. Uh, it gets checked through here on table number uh, two. Uh, I don't think uh, I can make a bet. The only guy I'm worried about is Braniff, uh, but I'm gonna make a bet. A small one doesn't need to be big. If he missed, he missed, and he's not gonna continue. Uh, seven four. I'm gonna uh, make a call here. I defend it. Okay, we get raised here on table number uh, two. It's an easy fold now, obviously. Uh, the guy double barrels here uh, on table number three. No reads. Uh, I do now have extra equity with a five. A four is probably also still good. Uh, I'm gonna call him uh, probably slows him down the red card I don't believe that he folds an ace though uh, which I do believe he has uh, I don't have enough uh, I might still have the best hand but I don't believe that I do when I barrels twice on this flop so I'm just gonna check it back uh, here And yes, he's green. He's never folding that. Uh, pocket eights, uh, fold to three bets. I am gonna three bet. Makes the call. Not the best flop in the world, um, but I can I can't just give up yet. Uh, this also doesn't seem like a guy who is going to fold all too often. Um, but I'm gonna bet, um, uh, who knows, uh, it's the only way I can win the hand by betting here. But it's probably not the best guy to be 3 betting, 36, 9, only 11 hands, uh, who knows, but, um, The ace queen, I'm not folding against the guy who's only got one dollar left, uh, so... Uh, 
Now, um, we also have flush draw. I can check. Um, or bet. I'm really, really not afraid of any card, actually. So I'm gonna check and I'm gonna call it off if it shoves. It gives me a really nice price, so I'm just calling. We'll keep the nuts, some, uh, put them all in here. I'm not gonna let give him the chance to check behind on uh, the river. That one. The Jack Nine suited sometimes, uh, yeah, it's part of my new style. I'm just playing a lot more hands, so I'm raising Jack Nine suited on the gun. You can easily fold this. By the way, uh, if you're still in the process of learning how to beat a certain state, just uh, the 1815 style is still uh, going to work perfectly. Like table number three, for instance, is a table I would leave. There's no real fish out there, and the best guy at the table uh, is sitting on my left. So this is like... Uh, he's aggressive, he's on my left. This is a table I would leave, table number three. Dunking out on table number two in a min, uh, small pot. Uh, he min raises. Uh, I'm still gonna make the call here. A few bets again here on table number two. I'll, I'll, I'll fall. Any bets? Big. Uh, Ace nine offsuit here. Uh, false three bets, quite big. I'm just gonna three bet here. If I call, I believe Gavin is going to squeeze a lot. Well, maybe I can let him squeeze and shove over him. Um, I believe he's going to squeeze a lot. Three bets? No, he's not three betting that often. So I'm just gonna make the three bet myself. On table uh, number four, I'm just betting. I don't know how the pot came to this, uh, how I got involved in the hand, but the guy has, has like 45 cents left. Uh, I don't think I beat a lot. Uh, maybe he missed some weird draw and he's gonna bet it. I'm not following, by the way. Okay, nice. I'm gonna three bet the guy again. Uh, after uh, on table number one, I've been three betting him uh, before with the pocket eights. Uh, he didn't fold. Just gonna call him. It doesn't seem like a guy. He seems 41, 24, only 17 hands. But uh, it's nine off suit. The guy, the Gaben 13 guy on table number three, is gonna annoy me. Uh, I'm full calling. Um, just falling. Pocket nice. I'm just gonna check fold there. And the nine king on table number two. I'm raising the guy on the button, isn't it? And I'm actually gonna pause the video again and find some other tables because I don't, I don't like table number three at all. And table number two, uh, everybody's sitting out. Uh, table number four, everybody's sitting out. And there's just like some real uh, short stack behind me. So I'm gonna sit out and, uh, well, not sit out, I'm just gonna pause the video and get some better tables up. Okay, we're back. I've joined a few. Um, I don't. Uh, I joined a few tables, but I'm on some waiting list. On table number one here, I've called a raise from under the gun, uh, unknown. Uh, really draw with flop for him. Uh, I'm gonna bet this. I believe I have the best hand. If he raises me, I'm willing to get it in. 
But that's uh, what I've been trying to do. Just when I have position, I'm going to call somebody who raises and I'm trying to annoy all the people on my right. So on table number one, we have uh, Axmet on my immediate right. We have uh, on table number two, we have Weiner J on uh, my immediate right. So these are the guys I'm trying to focus on. Then we have on table number one, Bogan Dan. I mean, who seems like really aggro, uh, well, aggro like li really loose and jacked and off suit. I'm just gonna call here. I have position on table number two. What the? Just. A uh, 9 nade on jack 5 3. It's too drawy. Uh, well, it's not that drawy. Uh, but I'm just gonna check it. I don't believe that he uh, will both fall to foresee that here. You know. But I, I, you can obviously uh, did, uh, see that here, but I, I chose not to. It's about 50 50. Five six offsuits. Uh, I was going to call the under the gun razor, uh, but now with Liner J uh, making it uh, ninety cents, I'm just gonna uh, fold five six suited. The really aggro guy is in the small blind, so I'm gonna raise it up. Uh, and the other guys behind me seem to be pretty needy. A forty nine, a zero zero guy, maybe the guy on the button fifty twenty five thirteen. It's five six suited. King Queen suited on table number three, obviously calling a race if it does happen. Uh, nine King up suits on table number uh, three. I am going to raise it to forty cents. Somebody limped in, I believe, and he limp folds or he dunk posted. Uh, I didn't see it. King Queen suited on. And with the Jack Queen, and normally I would fold it. Well, usually uh, in, the, in the earlier days, I would have folded Jack Queen here. Uh, now I'm uh, calling in position, trying to see. Uh, it's not a bad flop to make a race here. Uh, either he's gonna have to have some uh, pretty good king. Uh, the only thing that does. Uh, put me off here is that I do not have any outs, but I'm gonna make the race. Also his 40 cents uh, c-bet isn't really big. Uh, I believe if he has ace-king he will make it like 50 cents at least. Um, see, you see that this is the stuff that I normally wouldn't do. Uh, here with the coins, obviously. I'm gonna make it one dollar. Against the 32.19, I doubt that he's folding, so I can might as well make it a little bit bigger. Unfortunately, King comes off. Not that worried, but I can't really bet for value, so I'm just gonna check. The flop is also really drop, so I can't see a lot of hands. Uh, and I'm folding to the 3 bet from a shorty on table number 1. That's a pretty big bet by uh, Noga Powell. Huh. That's a really big bet, uh, essentially. To think about this, uh, brief flop, flop, fold the continuation bets. I might, uh, I might made, I might have made a mistake by not seabending myself and. Making the hand really hard to play. Uh, I believe I'm just gonna fold here. I can't really call down uh, for uh, too many streets. It's really weak. Uh, 
That was really weak. Uh, four, five, we hit uh, straight here, so let's keep on going. Uh, he raises me four, five, what the? Unless he has seven, nine. So all we're gonna call we split. Now table did not three seems to be breaking up. But we've got some bad this guy, I'm gonna tag him green is pretty bad. So I'm definitely not leaving the table. Not sure about the coins, but I. Guy seems on um, table number two, Pranif 99. Seems like a uh, station. Raising the king eight up, so it's three bet the queen three. No, if it was suited, I might have three bet queen three on table number three. Uh, calling on table number two, we have position. Uh, we hit a nice flop. Uh, Braniff dogs here. Uh, I'm gonna make a race. If he calls, I know that he's drawing. Uh, so he is drawing. Um, and Jack Queen, no, on table number three. Uh, I'm just gonna fold out of position. I'm still on uh, the same knit that you know. One point. Here. Unfortunately, faults on table number two. Jack for Suda Chinchilla, seventeen seventeen, just limped in. Weird. Uh, Jack four. If he would have raised, I might have would have, I might have three bet at him. But when he limps in, I doubt that he's ever falling to a race because people usually limp in with something like pocket fives, fours. Uh, He limps in again. Um, I'm gonna attack him green once he limps twice in a row. If the king six suited again, I would have. Uh, I, uh, these are spots that I uh, should be retrieving when king six suited to a guy is probably ice raising fairly light on table number four. Uh, the guy on table number one hasn't played a hand in 26, so I'm still with 8, 9 half suits. Um, this is a simple C bet on a king high flop against the calling station. I don't doubt that he folds the continuation. Well, uh, if he missed, he's gonna fold. If he has something on this board, he's gonna continue. We got three bets here on table number uh, on table number one. I'm gonna call it. I don't have. I have no hands on him. Six hands is nothing. I'm just gonna call and and see how it goes. Uh, 
Uh, here I'm obviously re-raising. Um, I'm quite big, the flop is really drawing. And it's against our pal, Noga Powell. They both fold. So. One thirty. Um, just gonna give up with the jacks there. I have no reads on. I I have no reads uh, on the guy and readless. I don't really want to get it in preflop with jacks because I doubt that people uh, are going to fold. Uh, are going to get uh, stuff like. Uh, Tens in their preflop. For next hand, we get kings, but everybody folds to one six three suited against Nunga Power. I'm just gonna call because um, I'm trying to focus a little bit on him. Six three suits is really marginal. If he made it three x, I would have folded. But ah, sorry. These are the stuff that's probably uh, are, I have to work on. Like the jacks, I might have gotten in pre flop. Although I don't know uh, the queens uh, with uh, Nuga Powell, I folded. Yeah, I would never fold even if the king didn't come off. Uh, I'm definitely getting it in versus the guy with the with the essentially middle pair. Got a big pot going on on table number. Well, big pot, it's all in now. And obviously, the donkey uh, stacked off with top air against full house. 9 10 suited, I'm going to raise. Branif is gonna, on table number 2, is getting a green tag since he's 48 3. I'm not gonna see that this into two. We flop middle pair on table number uh, four. Well, we flop middle pair. I mean, we have middle pair. It's just a see that we probably still have the best hand, but uh, he's got equity versus my five. So to protect my equity, I have to bet there. I don't think I ever get called by any words. Queen Jack off suit, pre flop, three bets, fold to three bets, one other one. Um, he's gonna fold. Uh, I will three bet him, uh, rather, when I have position. And Queen Jack, it's a little bit too good to three bet, I'm wasting my hand there. Uh, if it was like Queen three suited, I, I would be much more happier to make the three bet. Uh, notice that the guy didn't see that uh, Dr. 11 on the 275 flop with ace 10. Four nine suits uh, on the button. I'm gonna call. Uh, I have position, it's suited. It's really loose again. Uh, the guy checks. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a steal in here. His check is kind of weird, but uh, 
that's the advantage of position. Ace 10, uh, probably have the best hand. I don't never get called by anything worse. I'm just gonna check here. Uh, checking again. Just going to hopefully go to showdown. It instantly checks it. Well, Nothing really major is happening. Okay, Nuka Powell is really is added. I think he's pretty bad. Uh, now he makes a min three bet. Uh, I'm not falling. I have another type of hand, which means that I can uh, go for the nuts. Just checking this. Table number three, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful with, uh, by raising queen six two because the guy on my, yeah, on my left is uh, a calling station. Played like five hands and played almost uh, four, or out, uh, four out of five of them. Uh, we flop the six, uh, which is nice. Uh, uh, I'm gonna make a C, but it doesn't have to be big. It's multi way, so people are gonna play pretty. Straightforward. It's kind of drawy, so I don't want to put a lot of money in the pot. If I do get raised, I'm gonna have to fold. Doctor R11 is a nit with so well, He plays pretty straightforward. He makes the call. He's the type of guy that is not going to withstand. Um, by the way, I mean, well, withstand a, a, a triple barrel. So I'm gonna bet again. And defending with the 10 7 suits. And my read was right, that's uh, the guy on table number uh, 3 folds. Uh, with the 10 7 suit, I'm just gonna fold with you. Have like really no equity. Uh, if, I had, but, but if I had something like a gut shot or I do have a backdoor flush, but it's too low. Uh, his C bet is also 40 cents. Uh, if it was 30 cents, I would be happier. But uh, I'm just folding here. So as you can see, I'm picking up quite a few of smaller pots. I'm just gonna check here on table number uh, how much uh, he folds his big blind to steal, 70%. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, gonna try to steal with eight, nine offsuits, see what he does. Uh, he can three bet. How much does he three bet? Four percent. He makes the call. Uh, is high flop standard. So, see that? 37 cents. Well, maybe 40 cents seems a little bit more convincing. He makes it call six, seven, eight, nine. It's not a. It's. Uh, I can double barrel here, uh, and I will. Uh, zero points. Uh, Eighty cents. Uh, he called my C bet on Ace four seven. Uh, the diamond comes off. He doesn't. He seems reasonably. Uh, well, uh, he seems to be playing reasonably well. Eighteen fourteen. Although, what you should take away from this video is that I can play eighteen fifteen at these uh, stakes. I can play thirty twenty nine. I can play twenty fifteen, and I'll still win money. So don't usually. People say, well, "What should my stats be like?" I mean, I can, I think I can play a very wide array of styles. Well, it's still uh, a pretty needy 
this time, but I can vary my game and still um, win a lot of money at these stakes. So don't stare yourself blind on. Uh, it's a nice. This is a nice situation here on table number. Wow, and a cold call. Okay, we're uh, making it. 280. Yeah. Two eighty seems fine. It's really obvious to what I have, but I can't really. I don't really have any other option. Uh, shoving is another option. Maybe it looks weaker. Weiner J is thinking. I hope he just shoves it all in. We are a little bit deeper also. I just noticed. Unfortunately, everybody folds. Should take a look at my bet sizing um, here, making the three bet. Well, we are 130 blinds deep, everybody. Uh, if King six suited, I would definitely call when I have position, uh, but now out of position, I'm gonna fold. With the six seven suited here on table number um, three, let's take a look here. The guy is uh, he's not gonna fold to three bets. Uh, I can order uh, one other one. Uh, 32.19. Um, I'm just gonna. Uh, you make it 40 cents instead of uh, 30 cents, so I'm just gonna fold there. And we just got a major all in. On table number two. I mean, didn't see the action. It's gonna be interesting to see how they played it. One guy has pocket eights, one guy has uh, ace jack uh, here. Uh, what happened here? Somebody limped in and I raised it up, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, this is bad, bad, bad. And get it in. Oh, and he shoves all in. Uh, I'm calling it off. Uh, Jack, he has king queen. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks, but uh, there's nothing really you can do about it. And I'm falling here on table number uh, three. A guy who's passive uh, and then starts raising. Uh, I don't. I, I can't believe uh, that I'm good here. King eight offsuit. I'm gonna raise. I believe in the big blind. There's a really bad player. Oh, not the best flop, uh, especially another guy who has a position on me. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm just giving up here. Basically, he's gonna float me here, which is like every every single thing. A guy on table number one limp and then three pass. It's the standard, especially for the forty-five forty-five five guy to be have like aces or kings. This guy calls Gigi Dance, which is weird, but he's also half stacked. He's all in. It's aces of dance. Yeah, it's something like that. versus eight queen. Just some bad play by uh, both of them.
Jigga does call the three bet a huge three bet with uh, queen eight suited against the short stack. I don't know. He's getting a green tag. It's then suited, so I'm gonna call. Decent hand. Small C bet on table number three doesn't need to be bigger. Uh, with the queen four suited, I'm just gonna fold versus my Dharma. I think uh, he's just not folding uh, often enough pre flop to make that uh, probable race. Uh, on table number four, the guy who stacked me left. Enjoying his three dollars. Four seven suited. Uh, somebody raises on the gun. Uh, since it's my new style, I am calling there. Unfortunately, we have Nikax behind us who is uh, capable of coming along, which kind of negates my positional advantage. And queen eight, somebody dunk posted, so I'm making it 40 cents there. Ten six suited. That's uh, close. The be the worst the worst guy is in the blind, uh, which makes it f better. But ten six. Uh. King high flop dry standard c bet against the guy who limp called. So he raises my c bet. Uh, I'm kind of calling here uh, with the four seven. When we flop a middle pair, I'm falling on table number one once he raises my that. And since the guy just 12 of 12, really needy guy, just barrels quite big uh, on this flop, uh, I'm just falling. On table number two, we have a new guy sitting, I think, Vlado, who seems to be only uh, $5, $25.18. I raised the 9-6 because the guy is playing 12 of 8, uh, pretty straightforward, so standard C-bet on an ace-high flop. Uh, he's not gonna play back at me unless he's gonna hit it, so... Seven nine off suit. Um, it's a little bit too uh, weak to be raising on table number two. And the a three suits. I'm gonna. Wow, he steals from me. I have a three suits. It's this is too weak. I'm just gonna standard c bet on table number one uh, with the pocket five. To hopefully, just take it down. Uh, otherwise, we're done with the hand if he calls. Unless we hit the five. Obviously. Uh, with the ace, I don't believe that I uh, can get this guy off anything, so I'm just gonna check and go to show now. Eight six off so table number three. The guy on my left is already calling station, so that's a fault. Getting some uh, crappy hands right now. Five six suited. I'm calling four five suited. I would have three bet if, for instance, Ferguson would have uh, raised it up. 
uh, versus MK. I'm just gonna raise. Uh, I have no. I don't know. We use uh, no hands. And uh, with the pocket sevens, I'm just calling in position five six uh, standard C bet against the guy. Of belief, uh, just playing fairly straightforward. Uh, he calls. I think I'm done with the hands. Jacks, yeah, I'm just done. Uh, pocket eights, could have. Nah, I, I doubt that he even folds uh, on the turn. Well, he has a gut shot. It's a really crappy gut shot, uh, but he probably doesn't know that. Uh, Jack King out of position versus another guy on race from a 22 19. Uh, the guy on my left is probably going to call if I uh, call. But we are in the worst position uh, because if post flop, he's, uh, the guy who in first race is going to uh, see bet, I have to make my decision before the donkey makes his decision. So that's not uh, what you want. Here, uh, double barreling if another club comes off. But it doesn't come off. Uh, so uh, against the thirteen ten guy who floats me out of position on a two six queen flop, uh, I believe uh, I'm just giving up unless like an ace comes on the river. But seventy cents, I'm just falling. And I believe uh, this guy is not doesn't fall, probably doesn't. Oh, he's short. Never mind. I believe uh, we are almost at one hour, so I'm gonna sit out my blinds. I believe that you've clearly seen that. Uh, um, adapting, trying to learn a new style while learning, uh, trying to do something different that I can apply at higher stakes to uh, get me back my win rate uh, from the earlier days because the needy style, the 1815 uh, type of style just it, it still works but you're gonna have to really fish hunt and um, people who know you are just taking advantage of you by the fact that they, they know you're gonna fall to a river race unless you have to really really another type of hand uh, that's a huge uh, three bet on table number uh, eat three bets wow three out of 13 times but it is jack <laughs> It's really bad. It's a, it's a big three bet. I'm just gonna fold. Also, again, I'm in the worst situation. Uh, I'm in the worst position now uh, with the donkey. And I don't think he three bets as a bluff there all that often, knowing that uh, Nikax is probably not going to fold. Checks back on this flop, uh, the four six queen flop. So Nick X is taking a small step with an eighty cents bet, getting three bet here. Uh, we are deep, uh, a little bit deeper. It didn't make it huge. I believe the guy is pretty bad. If I hit my set here, um, really, uh, I believe I'm going to get a lot of money out of it. So I'm just going to call and uh, try to hit my set. We don't. He bets 150. He's got something really good. Uh, if we hit a set, um, I believe we're golden, but uh, we didn't. 
Uh, three, four. Uh, so we get treated by a guy playing eleven, eleven. It's, uh, I mean, that's not even. You shouldn't even play, be playing eleven, eleven at uh, full ring. So. Ace King. Okay, I'm gonna sit out my uh, lines and uh, I am going to three bet a really nitty guy. Um, well, actually, I'm gonna call uh, just because I want the, the 50 20 guy in the pot too. On this board, if you see that, I'm obviously falling. Uh, 25, 6, 7. I'm betting. Calls the 5 isn't the worst card in the sense that uh, there's still a lot of hands that I beat, so I'm betting again. Calls 5, 6. Uh, the queen comes off. Uh, is there still value in betting here? Oh. I doubt that I'm ever gonna get called by a pair of sevens. So I'm just falling. Uh, I'm just checking behind here. Uh, I'm thinking of some hands that can call me. Either. Like seven, eight. <sighs> Would they really call a river bet here? I doubt it. So I'm just checking behind. Even at pocket threes. Unfortunately, uh, in this video, I wasn't able to stack anyone. Uh, on the contrary, I got stacked, uh, but I'm not. Uh, I mean, I'm stacking out there for three dollars uh, with top pair, uh, medium, good kicker versus a guy who is pretty bad. This is going to be a 3 bet one. Uh, the guy falls 3 bets 2 out of 2 times. Uh, I have position and I have a blocker. Uh, seems to me like pretty standard 3 bet with ace 5 offsuit. This is the stuff that I should be doing a little bit more uh, here. Uh, 4 8 2. I'm gonna. I'm gonna well, want him to fall all his ace axe type of hands, so I'm gonna make a c bet here. Uh, and hopefully, King High takes it down, which it does. Queen 9. If the bad guys were in the blinds, I would raise the Queen 9 offsuit, but now the bad guys are on my left, so I'm just gonna fold. So I uh, hope I gave you a little taste of what I'm going to do in uh, May. I will try to put in quite a few hands. Uh, three six king, uh, nice flop against the guy playing really a lot of hands. So betting like fifty five cents here, and hopefully uh, bet bet bet, and hopefully he has a worse queen uh, king. Sorry. But he doesn't, and he just falls. So this is what I'm going to do uh, in May. I will definitely uh, see how it goes. I will post about it in the forums, and uh, hopefully you guys have some comments on it. It's I'm not really sure if it's really going to work at Tannehill, though, uh, playing such a style. But I, until now, it's been fine. I pick up a lot of small pots and. I've, I've seen that people do some weird type of stuff uh, versus me when uh, I do uh, play uh, a lot looser. Okay, so this was Colossus for Grand Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the forum.